My friends are playing in the playground, Susan is taking a swing, Peter is flying a kite, George and Alice are riding their bicycles, Steve and Elvin are jumping rope, whereas Robert is swimming. Let's observe them one by one, to see which body parts are they using to play. Let's first closely observe Susan enjoying her swing, and guess which body parts is she using. Yes, I know. She is leaning her head backwards, and using her neck to support it. She is also using her hand and fingers, to grip the rope of the swing. Her arms are balancing, her body by using her elbows, and shoulders. She is pushing her legs in the forward direction, using her knees, and stretching her toes further, by using her ankles. In this way she can enjoy swinging higher and higher. Now let's observe Peter flying his kite. And guess which body parts is he using to fly the kite? Yes, I can help. Well, let's see. He is looking at the kite, flying high in the sky by his eyes, moving his head upwards, and his neck to support it. At the same time, he is using his arms to balance the kite, hands and fingers, to grip the string. To make the kite fly higher and higher, he also runs using his legs along with his knees, toes, and his ankles to carry his body weight. I must say that Peter is really enjoying kite flying. Now let's observe George and Alice, riding their bicycles, and guess which body parts are they using? Yes, I know. Well, they are sitting on the bicycle and paddling it to make it move forward, using their legs, knees, toes, and ankles to put pressure on the paddles. At the same time they are controlling its direction, by gripping the handle with their hands, taking support from their arms, elbows and shoulders too. Their entire body is helping them to balance the bicycle, especially their head and neck. Steve and Elvin are jumping ropes, let's guess which body parts are they using. Yes, I can tell. Well, actually it's very simple. They are jumping using their legs, knees, toes and ankles and using their hands to grip the handles of the skipping rope. At the same time, they are timing the rope to pass under their feet using their hands, arms, elbows and shoulders. Isn't it fun watching them? Now let's observe Robert while swimming, which body parts is he using? Yes, I'll tell. I'll say that this entire body is helping him in swimming. His neck is supporting him to keep his head out of water. By flapping his legs and feet using his knees and ankles, he is stirring himself forward in the water. His arms movement using his shoulders, elbows and hands is helping him to keep his upper body out of water and is also helping him to stare forward. This is not the end. It is just the beginning. If you like this educational interactive video, check out our complete range of educational digital course books.
Visit our website, sfpublishers.net, to discover more.